Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Excuse the really tired looking face. I just woke up. Today we're going to do an exciting video. We are going to be trying out the new KVD Good Apple Foundation. And I will warn you, I actually did test it out last night just because, you know, when you get a package and it's just sitting there, and you're like, I really just want, I just want, just want to see what the hype's about. And I caved and I tried it. Um, but I'm going to try it again today so you guys can see what it looks like on my face. We can talk about, you know, how it looks and all that good stuff, all the hype around it. And yeah, so if you want to see me trying out the new Good Apple Foundation from KVD, then uh, yeah, please keep watching. Oh, son of a bitch. Before I jump into trying it on and letting you guys see my final thoughts, Real quick, I'm just going to go over what the foundation is, what it's supposed to do, who it's good for. I know you guys have seen this blowing up all over TikTok. Double full coverage hydrating foundation balm. Bella. Full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight, long weight, lightweight long wear formula and a fresh matte finish. Fully recycled packaging. So it claims to be full coverage, matte finish, cream formula stating the obvious um, but it has apple extract in it and sodium hyaluronic so it's supposed to be really good like hydrating healthy looking foundation but still giving you that full coverage pretty much out of stock like anywhere and everywhere no it's pretty much sold out like everywhere it took me a hot minute to find this foundation because of course you know when tiktok blows something up i'm gonna say tiktok is like the best marketing of this new day and age because anything that's on TikTok, especially coming from someone who works at Sephora, <clears throat> I see it all the time. People come in looking, they all you gotta do is tell me the brand and they have their picture ready and I'm like, is it this? Was it on TikTok? Because we don't have it. <laughs> it's sold out. Pretty much how TikTok goes. But anyways, yes. So <clears throat> this is the packaging right here. I already of course I told you I already took mine out of the box because I tried it. Um, I got mine in shade light. 012. Now, when I originally picked it out, it was because one, it was one of the only few shades left, and two, it said it was light with neutral undertones, which I tend to go for neutral undertones. <clears throat> and I was worried if I got any, if I went any lighter, it was just gonna feel too light on me. Now, granted, I am on the fair side, but I don't want to feel like I'm washed out, so that's why I chose the color. And I know a lot of the claims said that when you look at the color when you first get it, it definitely looks darker and then you put your brush in the pan and it gets lighter. It's weird. It's like the first layer looks darker. So don't be intimidated if you get your color and you look at it and you're like, hmm, I don't know if that's going to work. But yeah, so basically we're going to try it out today and I'm going to do the rest of my face after this off camera just because the... It'll be a long video if I sit here. And plus, I have to get my hair done here in a minute. So, I wanted to get this out for you guys. Uh, let's go in and try it. Can you guys guess what my thoughts are before I even go into it? Can you guess? And I'm going to give you real quick before we jump into it, a little side note, a little history of my skin. I am combination. Um, most of my skin gets dry like... Here it gets kind of dry, my nose gets a little dry, um, my forehead will tend to get a little shiny, but I think it's more shiny as in, because I sweat a lot, more so than my skin's actually really oily, but yeah, I'll tend to get like shine in here, but most of the time I feel like I'm on the dry side. So a lot of times, just a little history, my skin does not take well to cream products, which is why I was hesitant on getting it, but I was like, you know what, TikTok talked about it, let's, let's talk about it. So yeah, just a little, a little side note. And then this cutie wants to interrupt my video. Are you the star now? Am I going to put foundation on you? Am I putting foundation on you today? Using a brush today just because I feel like with cream products, to me, they, like, coverage-wise, they just work better with brushes. Camera, I probably will go over with the sponge. Just because I feel like, I don't know what it is. A lot of people will ask me, do you prefer brush or sponge? If I'm in a hurry, usually I'll say sponge, but if I really want maximum, like, coverage and just, like, the whole look, 
I'll do a brush and then I'll follow up with a sponge. This one I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. I just bought this probably a couple weeks ago and I actually really like it. So, yeah. And I saw a lot of people doing, of course, the one... And I didn't do any primer on my face. I just did my skincare. I didn't want to... I didn't want anything to change the formula of the foundation, especially when I'm trying it for you guys to see, because if I end up like being like, ew, I hate this, I don't know if it's because of the primer, like the combination, or it's the actual foundation. So we're doing it on no primer, just my skincare. Yeah, a lot of people, they'll go into this and they'll put a lot of foundation on. You do not need a lot of this. Like, I remember dipping my brush in yesterday and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, that's like plenty of product. But I know it's a trend. It gets, like, people going. It gets people to buy it. I understand that. You don't necessarily need that much. Um, so I'm going to stop talking and just do it. So when I do it, I would say one, two. That's all I did. And then we're just going to start in the center of the face and work out. And I'm not going to be like, because <gasps> then everybody's, everybody does that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be on the trend, okay? Even though I, I gave in and I bought this. Um, so yeah, so on initial application, I do like it. I feel like it definitely gives you coverage. It's Do I think as far as coverage, is it anything revolutionary? No. There's a lot of full coverage foundations out there. Um, I think a lot of this is, like I said, it's just the hype of the foundation. Um, but you can actually find a lot of really good full coverage foundations. What I like about the claims of this one. I'm just getting a little bit more. Well, the claims of this one is that it is actually like a, a good like hydrating full coverage foundation. I feel like a lot of foundations that are full coverage and can we talk about the color match like oh and also too you can see like I have quite a bit of redness but what was I saying? Oh I feel like a lot of full coverage foundations they tend to um What's the word? I'm getting a little more from there. Um, they tend to be more matte, like, I don't like, just too matte for my skin, and they'll end up drying my skin out. So, when I see, like, a hydrating full coverage foundation, I'm, like, super excited about it. Now, the one thing I did notice, which is very common for my skin, is that I don't like how it sits on my nose, which... I said it happens a lot of times it actually looks a little bit better today than it did last night but I'll zoom you in my my nose has a lot of dry skin on it oh we're close okay focus do you see how it kind of just sits patchy on my nose and like I said that's that's a that's a very common thing with my foundations so yeah but this is with one application I'll kind of hold it down a little bit this is one application. I feel like a lot of people have I've heard I've heard so many mixed reviews. A lot of people said it dries down like too matte, especially if like you're dry. I don't think that for my skin at least. Everyone's skin is very different. I feel like it gives the nice natural radiance to the skin. Yeah, I feel like that I mean finish wise, I feel like it looks really good. I'm not mad at it. But let me just tell you from I'm gonna do the other half while I talk about this. From one, like, a makeup artist's perspective, everyone's skin is very different, and I know you hear that a lot, but when you go into a foundation with, like, really high expectations, like this one, for example, just keep in mind, even if you say, like, if you're like, oh, well, my skin's combination, like, this part's skin's combination, or my skin's oily, like, theirs is oily, and they liked it, and I hate it, or vice versa. Or why did I love it and they hated it? Even if your skin type is similar or the same, everyone's skin is different. Everyone's skincare routine is different. Skincare routine does make up a huge part of how a lot of your makeup is going to wear. So just keep that in mind. But as far as like wondering why some foundations look really good on other people and not you or vice versa, just keep in mind everyone's skin is so... Different. I tell my clients that a lot of the time too because they see, like they see for example, they'll ask me, oh, well, what foundation are you wearing? It looks really good. And I'll tell them and they're like, oh, that didn't work on me. It didn't look good like it looks on you. That's going to happen 
just because our skin is all different. So keep that in mind when you try it and go into it with an open mind. But I'm really, okay, so I really actually really like this foundation. And I'm, I'm going to say I'm shocked because like I mentioned before, cr any type of cream foundation has never worked on my skin. Even the hydrating, even, even the hydrating ones. They always want to separate on my skin. They always want to look cakey on my skin. They always just never flatter my skin. They always want to sit in every little, like, imperfection. This one, I feel like it actually, like, gives me a nice radiant kind of finish, which I love, if you don't know my preferences. Um, I don't like matte finishes. I feel like I used to because I didn't know much, enough about my skin type to realize that I wasn't actually oily. I was just dehydrated, which is which caused a lot of issues. So, um, But no, I actually really like it. I feel like, weird enough, like... It, it evened on my redness, but I don't feel like it looks cakey. I feel like I did get some color on my chest, so it might not match perfectly on my chest, but this is more of my color. Yeah, no, I really like it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit closer. There's no filter. I don't even know how to do filters on videos. Apparently, there's this beauty filter that everyone talks about, and I haven't figured it out. But I have no filter on my face. Let me see if it'll... Okay, right here. Okay, so, yeah, that's my face. A lot of the claims is it feels weightless. I mean, I can still feel it on my skin a little bit, but it definitely doesn't feel like a t like traditional cream foundation. It definitely feels lighter than that. Uh, it does feel like skin to an extent, but like I said, it still is going to feel like you have foundation on. But I love how it gives you that radiant finish without making it feel like greasy or like just like disgusting. Because sometimes, like, yeah, I want to look dewy, but I also don't want to like feel super like greasy or heavy or anything like that so this is my ideal type of finish is what you're looking at right here a nice natural radiant finish that is this I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll talk about it real quick we'll wrap it up I think you guys can tell by now what my thoughts are but yeah I'll be right back all right guys I'm back I did a really half-ass rest of my makeup because I am fixing to be late for my hair appointment and that's no bueno so real quick I'm gonna give you my thoughts sorry this, this feels rushed but overall I actually really love the foundation I haven't worn it as a wear test so I don't know how it's gonna last but as far as like first application how it applies how it wears like sits on the skin with my other products um, normally with cream foundations as well, if I apply like a powder on top of it or something like that, it tends to want to like break up. This one did not. This one actually blurred and smooth when I put powders on top of it, like as it should. So yeah, I am actually really loving this. Um, packaging, it's all recyclable, so I could care less if it's plastic, if it's saving the environment, who cares? Um, unless you're just like a really big packaging person. I mean, I am too, but as long as the product inside of it is amazing, I don't really care. Love it. Now, don't feel pressure to go buy it because, like I said, it's not going to work for everybody. I promise you that. Just, but take my my review and my opinion as it, with a grain of salt because, like I said, it could work very different for your skin. But, as of right now, I do love it. If you want to try it, how I did it was I just hit email me when back in stock on the Sephora app does wonders because literally you'll get an email as soon as it's back and you can just click that email it takes you right to it and you can buy it versus like before I kept wanting to buy it but I never knew when it came back in stock because every time I checked it was out of stock so I was like um and then when I would finally figure out it was back in stock it had been online for like all day and then it sold out so yeah don't do that that is the end of this video if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up it lets people know um, about my video. It lets me know if you like this kind of content, if you like reviews. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried it or if you're going to try it and what your thoughts were, if it worked for your skin. And yeah, oh, subscribe. Obviously. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that people support me. 
and I appreciate that. And I do appreciate that from you. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Peace.